What's up, everyone? Welcome back to A Line in the Stars. I'm Jordan, and we are here with Star Wars Squadrons. I've never played this game. I have no idea what's going on. I'm excited to bring this to you. I've been doing a lot of things lately, and this is just the newest thing. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Uh, now, it's an EA game. I just took 10 minutes to go through all the crap at the beginning of signing into an EA game. So... Uh, I'm excited. Uh, this one has been on my radar for a long time. I've always been a fan of, you know, space, you know, combat games, um, piloting games and stuff like that, but I haven't played them in a little while. So I have to be honest, uh, I am rusty at this sort of thing. We're going to learn. Um, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to approach the gameplay on this one, whether it's going to be a role play or we're just going to talk about the lore of Star Wars and, and the game and all of that thing. But, uh, yeah, I guess let's just go ahead and press any button to start. Uh, Katarl? <laughs> After all their is destroyed, pilots of the Rebel Alliance fight for galactic freedom. Meanwhile, fearless TIE pilots enforce the will of the Galactic Empire. Oh, so we're going to be, I, from what I understand, is you choose, yeah, in Star Wars Squadrons, you will alternate between the perspectives of two pilots on opposite sides of the war. You will play as the Imperial pilot for your first mission. Cool. And then you have your Rebel pilot, and I guess it looks, looks, looks like we can customize our pilots, so let's go ahead and do so real quick. Uh, just keep this quick and simple. I'm not going to spend too much time with it. She's actually just fine. Torin, that's interesting. Yeah, I think that she was just fine, as a matter of fact. Yeah. We'll go ahead and accept that one. And then the Rebel Pilot, I think, would be kind of cool. Oh, we're only given human options, huh? I was about to say. It would have been pretty cool to have an uh, alien as a Rebel Pilot. Hmm. I think a male and a female would be kind of cool. And I like this one. So let's go with this. So Cy Vertesi and Grin Valoria. What a name. Grin. Grin. Wow. Uh, choose your experience. Um, standard. Recommended. This setting enables HUD elements that help you in a variety of ways, such as clarifying your current objective, the location of friends and foes, etc., uh, instruments only. Uh, this setting disables most standard HUD elements for a more immersive but more challenging experience. You'll rely entirely on your physical onboard flight instruments for instru information. Um, I'm hoping we can change this later, but as this is my first time playing this game, I am going to go ahead and stick with uh, standard. Uh, story mode is never really an option for me. Um, it, yeah, I understand the need for it, and if you just want to enjoy the game... Uh, but for me, I definitely enjoy uh, playing a little bit more of a difficult experience. I won't go as veteran just yet. I will increase difficulty as we go along. Uh, so, pilot is recommended for players with some experience in flight games. Balanced for a challenging and rewarding adventure. Uh, recommend, yeah, veteran is recommended for players with, lo with lots of experience in flight games. Uh, yeah. No. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and accept and we'll go ahead and start the game. Yes, we are. And we're just going to be focusing on the story aspect of the mission. I'm not sure how long the story is of this game, but... Oh, look at that. Hmm. Cool. Oh. Alderaan shows destruction. They incited rebellion and anarchy. And pay the price. Wow. Well, cool. Survivors continue to spread dissent. Where? Find them. Hmm. I wonder if this takes no place between four and five. The destruction of Alderaan is complete. Okay. 
Vigilance. Just after the destruction of Alderaan, yeah. Lord Vader's orders are clear. Are they? Yes. Wipe out all Sloan. Of Alderaan. Oh my goodness. I understood the survivors were in There's a cut. Intelligence reports a possible Alderanian convoy heading for Fostar Haven. You are to draw them out and finish them off. Do you understand that, Captain? Perfectly. Commodore Sloan. Dismissed. Ray Sloan. Took over the Imperial Remnant after uh, the Battle of Jakku. Was a big part of the Aftermath trilogy. Fascinating. Can't remember if she was in Battlefield 2. Captain Dave. Everything ready, Lieutenant Carroll. Squadrons on their way. They're excited to fulfill Lord Vader's command. And you? No qualms hunting down refugees from a world we destroy? During the Iskalon uprising, you taught me to ignore propaganda. They're traitors, not refugees, and will be dealt with accordingly. I've prepped our usual Sigma-9 loadout. No. Only standard ties today. Flying old school, sir. This might be a real challenge, after all. Hmm. You hear me, Teresa? But I don't think you understand me. Interesting. I guess we'll find out. A thoughtful imp. And here I am. And don't fire unless I give the order. The convoy is out there. You don't want to scare them off. Grin. Let's do this right. <laughs> My name is Grin. I'm smiling. Prepare for launch. Okay. Controller's making a bunch of stuff happen. Cool. This looks cool. Begin pre flight checks. Pilot, boot up your cockpit systems. Copy that. What an what a voice. That's cool. Two log things here. Alright. Pre flight complete. Let's get a clean launch. Lock onto my fighter. L2 to lock on. Forward sensor online and tracking. Now, throttle up and deploy out of the hangar. Cool. All right. It's fairly easy controls. I'm closing. The rest of the fleet is back from Malister. There we are. Malister. Plenty of help to deal with that convoy of sympathizers. Hmm. Yeah, I get that. I do not like my voice. Okay, I'm starting to get the idea of it. Stay mobile. We don't want any collisions. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm... The, it feels right. So, turning the sticks in on yourself, you roll, which is pretty cool. Oh, 
<laughs> but then I just stopped. Spin out. Okay. Alright. That's fairly simple. You're right, sir. It is good to fly old school again. There's something very forthright about a TIE fighter. Okay. Getting used to <laughs> flying upside down, for instance. This is cool. There's a carrier. Ah, uh, Commander Sato. Looks like someone is testing battle formations. Better here than in the field again. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of a. You gotta be careful, like, when you're touching the. Yeah, I get that. Okay. Keep your distance, Helix. Those engines run hot enough to vaporize a tie. Wow. Cool. I've known a few daredevils who found that out the hard way. Hmm. High pilots push the limits. Sometimes the limits push back. Well, I'm hearing wind noise, which is not something that you would normally hear, but sure. <laughs> I hope that's actually the... Um, It's hard to tell, like, when you're stopping. I might... Hmm. Oh, Tidarian class. Cool. Oh, we're inside the shield, so it's kind of giving this, like, little bit of a... Good. All systems calibrated, and the fleet is in good shape. Kind of give this halo effect. The vigilance reports how Gozanti transport is ready. Helix Squadron, head to the Gazanti and dock for hyperspace jump. Yes. Okay. They're oh, hauling ass. Follow down below the Gazanti so its locks can engage. Okay. Okay, that was janky. <laughs> Invert or customize flight controls while in the options menu. Okay, controls. Um. Okay, I'm not. Not yet. Remember, Helix. That was a lot. But finding the refugee convoy is up to us. They won't escape the Empire twice. Dope. All right, the Empire has such cool ships. I'm sorry, I know we're not supposed to like the Empire that much, but pretty cool ships. Yeah. Cool. That was a really cool design. Star Haven. Probably the most isolated trading post in the sector. It's only a haven for thieves and pirates. If the refugees are hiding here, clearly they're not as innocent as they claim. Oh, yeah.
Yeah, the level design is pretty cool. It's impressive, actually. I like it. Game looks good. to the target. I see. That's what I forgot to do at the beginning. I was like, why am I not seeing the distance? Interesting. There's a lot of cargo traffic today. Then our convoy might be hiding among them. Hmm. Agreed. All cargo vessels. This is Captain Lyndon Javes of the Galactic Empire. Prepare for immediate inspection. And this is Fostar Haven Station Master. Kindly avoid harassing my customers. If they cooperate, they'll be fine. Pilot, proceed. Copy that. Check your forward sensor. It will identify potential targets. What is it wanting us to do? supposed to be following? I mean, like... Pilot, begin by inspecting that ship. Which ship? That one. Okay. Alright. To scan an unknown ship or object, face it and tap L2 to target. Then approach it. Your scan will begin automatically when you are facing the target or within 1,000 meters. Okay. Wait, wait. We have always been loyal to the Empire. That ship was clear. Okay. Good. Check that ship next. Look, I'll pay anything. Just don't impound my ship. Hmm. Scanning. No sign. It's from Alderaan. Keep Ooh. looking. So you're not impounding my ship? <laughs> no. Yeah. Let's go blast some innocent people. Yay! Ooh. Ah, that feels good. Ah. Spice, huh? Drug dealers. Okay, press X to cycle through targets. Okay. Okay, there's nothing to target right now. My customers are legitimate traitors. You have no right. Captain, the station's defenses just activated. Excuse me? Helix Squadron, destroy those turrets. Yeah. Surge under fire. Out here, no one shoots unless they're prepared for return fire. Even the Empire should know that. Let's start close over here. To divert power to lasers, lasers will charge faster and hit harder. Okay. Is there an active range where weapons become effective? Nice. Ooh. L1 to repair my hull. Oh yeah, I'm starting to take some damage here.
Oh, bro. Jordan. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. I gotta get a little bit better about this. Controls are a little like, I mean, once again, like I said, I'm really rusty. Ooh, don't do that. Not so close, Jordan. All right. Okay, get your ship right around. Oh, excuse you? Well, I apologize for me being all over the place. <laughs> Getting used to this. Ah, that's better. There's one. That one much better. Alright. Uh huh, sure. I'm sure it won't. Alright. Grin is smiling. Swings, huh? Oh shit. They must be protecting the convoy. Defend yourselves if necessary. I'll look for the refugees. Taking enemy fire. Okay, so some starfighters like X Wings have regenerative shields or regenerating shields. You must blast through the shields before you can damage the hull. I see. When aiming reticle turns from white to red, your shot will hit the target. Watch how the enemy is moving and lead your target to a perfect shot. Got it. Our uh, ship's got a little bit of damage here. Nice. say this thing is really maneuverable and learning how to rotate it is going to be the key and I think that's going to be the thing with space combat and that's the thing that's a little bit different than what I'm used to is that the space combat nice Oh, that was better. Okay. I'm getting the hang of this a little bit. Nice. I say that as I'm struggling to get turned. But I'm getting used to the idea how the ships move. Oh, you're not... Oh, don't... No, no, no. Oof. Someone else got it. There you are. Nice. What a name. I, I hate that name. I'm sorry. But Grin? Really? 
Ooh. Hera would not be proud of that one. Spatial reasoning is a little tough. Pilot, get into the tunnel and hunt down that convoy. There, the convoy. Prepare to fire. Ooh. Shit. Ship is disabled. Not good. Javes, I'm gonna like you, hate you. What are you saying? He's leaving. That I don't care who ordered it. I didn't sign up to hurt the innocent refugees. And if protecting them makes me a rebel, then so be it. I like it. Damn it, pilot. See if you can bypass his shutdown. Mash any button. Nice. All right. Okay. Let's go. Lieutenant Carroll to the vigilance. Captain James is aiding the rebellion. Send immediate assistance. Okay, so up is divert power to weapons. Left is to divert power to engines, and it seems like down on the D-pad is to balance. shit hmm betrayal betrayal what shall we do wow <laughs> side cool echo squadron good morning jordan just checking on you sigh all right my friends and as we get here and head into the next mission. I think we're going to go ahead and leave it here. Alright. So, as we start to run our system check, I'm going to go ahead and hit pause here. And I just want to say thank you. I appreciate you guys watching today. I know there's a million things you could be doing. 
Uh, instead, you chose to spend a little bit of time with me and watch me as I jankily go through and learn how to fight a fight with a TIE fighter. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you'd like to support the channel, please like and subscribe. And I'm excited. Excited to do some gameplay, to have a full slate of episodes every single week. I'm shooting for five or six per week now. Uh, we got four last week, and we got, uh, I have planned for five this week with, you know, if we have a podcast, uh, we'll release that as our sixth, and then I have an idea for something. I got some time off coming up this week, and uh, I have an idea for something that I've been wanting to do for a long time, and if we actually get around to it, and I think I will, but if I actually get around to it uh you guys will see that coming up here on sunday no promises but uh i am some i have something that i'm pretty excited to, to try to attempt to do so with that said i do appreciate you guys watching today i hope you have a wonderful day in this beautiful world wherever you might be and until we see each other again the force will be with you always Thank you.